And let's get right to Garrett Berry, who's outside the refinery in Come By Chance. Garrett, what do you know about what happened there? Yeah, the company that uh, operates this facility, Baya Renewable Fuels, has released a statement about the incident here today. It says that it believes seven people were injured as a result of this incident. Police have told CBC News that at least one of those injuries should be considered serious. The company also added that the incident here is contained. Witnesses have told CBC News that there was an explosion here around 4 p.m. Emergency responders, police and firefighters worked here into the evening. In their statement, Brea said it would do everything to support the families of the workers and the workers themselves that were affected in this incident and also pledged it would cooperate with any investigation by authorities. This is one of the biggest employers, Vashi, in rural Newfoundland and Labrador. And you mentioned, Garrett, those workers, they recently, many or recently of them, recently returned to the refinery. Can you tell us a, a bit about the history there? A, a tough history for workers at this facility. There were fears two years ago that it would close permanently, but it did find a new buyer a year ago, an American buyer that wants to retrofit this facility. It wants to change it to produce a different type of fuel. It's pledged to hire 200 full-time workers. That's a lot. So this uh, facility gets a lot of attention in this province. Premier Andrew Fury, for example, tonight said he uh, was in touch with the union, in touch with management at this uh, facility and expressed his condolences for the incident. Thanks, Garrett. Garrett Berry and come by chance tonight.